Hello and welcome to this tutorial and today we are going to handle the mentioning tips and tricks in Tecla structures. As you know, majority of Tecla structures users still struggle so much when it comes to drawing section, especially dimensioning, dimensioning and annotation. And today I have some one, two, three tips that will drop some confidence into you so you will be able to walk around your drawing, combing it out with a lot of confidence. Now, if you take a look on the screen here, I have my drawing in place and I, I want to add some dimensions. And at some point, you find it very hard to, to place dimensions in Tecla structures. So I have some one, two, three tips that will help you. Now, this is a blown out section of my bracing, of my bracing. So I want to place some dimensions here. So before that, I want just to double click on these balls and change the, the representation of the balls here. I'll pick on symbol two. So I want that to be displayed like that. Double click on that and come to symbol two and click modify and give it an, uh, an acceptance there. Now I want to place my dimensions here with reference to these gasset plates and also with reference to age of this angle profile. Now, I'll come to dimensioning. First of all, click on the dimensioning uh, uh, a tool. I'll come, under dimensioning tool, we have my, uh, a lot of dimensioning tools here. So I'm going to pick this one here, align three dimensions. So I'll select on that, then pick this part and move all the way to this part. So click on that part and press the middle button on the mouse like that. And your, your dimension will in place and click interrupt and click on it and drag it aside. So we want to add, we want to add the dimensions maybe from the end of this to center of these bolts, to center of this bolt and to the far end of this. So what we'll do, we'll just select that dimension and come here and add points. So remember, please note this, before I select it, if I don't select it, these adding points will be grayed off. It will not be active. So until I select on it, so it, it will become active. So I'm going to add points here. So I'll, I'll come back to it and, and activate it once, once, once again and pick the points I want to add along this dimension. So I'm going to add that and add this one also and add this one. So you'll find I have my dimension in place and this is what I wanted to, to have. It may be you don't need this and you don't need this. You can come here and, and maybe delete that. Let me just undo that. That's another step I'll, I'll, I'll show you. So that's another way of you can, of dimension your drawing. So I'll come with the overall dimension and just snap on that spot and double click on the far end. And I have my dimension. You can also double click and or press the mid button on the mouse. So I'll drag it that way and I have my dimension in that spot. So we'll try perpendicular. We'll, okay, we'll come to perpendicular here, add per perpendicular dimension. So the moment I click on it, you'll be able to see at the bottom end here, Tecla structures asking you, pick first point on the edge. I'll snap on this spot and snap on the second spot. So I'm going to pick the dimensions that will be perpendicular to, to, the, to this section. So I'll try and, and place this one and add that and press my middle button on the mouse and I'll have that in place. So I'll select on that and drag it aside. That's another way. And also, if I zoom out and drag this aside, and maybe I want to dimension this, what I want, what I'll do, I'll, I'll have to uh, blow out this. I'll come to views, then come to detail and pick this and blow it out, make it slightly bigger, and I pick it from that spot and drag, I drag my label to that section and place my camera on that section there. I give it some time to load. Right click and click interrupt. Now it has been generated, but it has it got mixed up with the it got mixed up with my original uh, drawing. So I'll, I'll select this frame or this window and hold my left button on my my left button and mouse and drag and place it somewhere there where I'll be able to place some dimension. So I'll just double click on it, then come and change the representation of the balls to two, and I'll give OK, and that's it. Now I want to place my dimensions here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to use this as my reference point. So I'll come to dimensioning and pick three, add three dimensions. I'll pick on that and, and uh, 
terminate it here. Then double click on that section. So if you take a look here, you'll see the text is so big. And why? What can you do? What we are going to do is just to add scale to this. Scale out this. We'll scale up this. Double click on it. So the moment you double click on it, you'll, you, you'll be able to add scale to make it slightly bigger than the original. So I'll come to, I'll come here, appearance, fill, or attributes. Click on attributes there and I'll come to scale. Click on attributes and come to scale and I'll give it maybe 20 or I'll give it 30. Click modify and if it's too big, we'll play a, we'll, we downscale the, 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 uh, the scale. Double click once again and you, 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 you reduce the scale or make it a little bigger. So I'll come here and add 25, make it 25, 1 to 25 instead of 50. So I'll click apply and give it an OK. It can go vice versa, it can change the height of the text, but we, we, we prefer the height of the text to remain the same. So once you have the overall here, and maybe you don't need the overall, you just want to, the, you, want, you just want the distance from this edge to this bold all the way to that end. Now I'll come here and select that and come to add points. I'll pick on that and pick on that point and pick on that point. And bang, we have the points in place. So if you see it's still congested, just add scale. Just double click and, 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 and make it bigger. And make it bigger. Come to appearance. Double click once again. Give some time to load. And go, go all the way to attributes there. And change this scale to 15. And click OK. So that will be okay. Click apply and give it an okay. Click okay right there. And that's it. Now, this is what we want. Now there's another approach of, of parallel dimensions. We want to place dimensions. We want to place a reference. We want to place, we want to place dimensions that are parallel from this point to this point. Define your second point as that. Now we are going to pick this dimension parallel to this. And I'll press my mid button on the mouse and I'll be able to find this dimension here. You can see that. Perfect. And I'll click that and delete. Now let's target another one. I'll come here and I want to dimension this particular paling and I'll come all the way here. Normally, when you want to dimension horizontally, you pick on this tool. Uh, I mean, horizontally, you pick on this tool. Vertically, you pick on this. Now, I want to measure a vertical section of this. So, I'm going to pick on this section and that section there. And that, and the, and that, and that section there. And remember, whenever the, the placement of your dimension is dependent on the last click of your dimension point. So, if I click on this point, and go ahead and click on that point. The text will be placed on in that side, on, on my right side. If I click, it, if I start with the right side and come to the left side, my, my text will be, play, will be placed on the left side. So, so let's just do that. I'm starting to pick from this section to that section and double click on that section. So you'll see my text is on that direction. Drag it aside and place it there. So let's try the next. If we start from the from from top, if I start it from this direction and end it here by double clicking, my text will be at the bottom end. So if you find this side, it's so congested, it, it your text is it, it's so clogged. So and you want to switch direction to the other end. What you do, we just come to flip, come to flip outside. Select on this text, and it will, it will be flipped on the on the other end of of, of of your dimension. So let's move to a bigger, uh, a well blown out uh, drawing. So I'll come here and place my dimensions here. I'll come to to three dimension, and I want to place this here. Double click on that spot. 
So I'll, I'll place this, I'll drag it aside. So this is not small enough. It's not small enough. So this, this uh, flip, di flip, flip dimension works best if the particular point you're trying to, to, to dimension is small so that the text will not fit in between in the middle of your dimension. It will be either sh uh, uh, shift right or left. So this is the tool that will help you flip both sides. So if I come here, let me just do one for you to see. Like this one here, I have this text, I have this, this blown out. Uh, so this the dimension cannot fit in the middle. And since, and, uh, or, or in this case, maybe this side, the, the, this text is getting mixed up with, with other annotations of your drawing. So what you do, you just come to flip and click on it and it will shift to this direction. And I'll repeat this once again. The position of your text is, is will depend on the last click or the last point you're clicking. That's the side your your your, your text or your dimension will be will be placed, as I showed you on 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 the other on the other end. Now that is enough, and we'll continue sharing the tips and tip and and tricks and tackle structures. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, don't fail to. Also, don't fail to visit us on Udemy. We have some special training there. Some special trainings there. Just type, just go and type Morris Dimba on, on Udemy there and you scroll and just look for Morris Dimba here. Morris Dimba right there. We have, we have some trainings there. So we, we, I added a recent advanced technical structures essential training that go all the way to some bit of coins, but Udemy will give you a very huge discount. Just click on it. Let's click on it and see what's inside. And this is the course. It's well detailed and very intense course all the way to just maximize that and go and read all that and all this. These are the content of the course. So if I click on, if you click here, see, see all the content of the course. And also, don't don't fail to subscribe. Pick one and advance. Thank you and bye bye.